hello so this hacker week i created a github actions plugin so i developed the github actions plugin and i published it in the marketplace which actually notifies the stakeholders in the slack the results of the test so let's get into the demo i will explain what exact problem it resolves and how it has to be used so in the company we know that there are several cool developers which develop say several cool features across the products and across the companies in the world and now these developers are using github actions compared to the jenkins because of all its of its perks in the github actions but at the same time github actions has got one demerit is like there is no mechanism to notify in the slack in a very tailored way or what i have to say is that in a very customized way all the solutions available in the github marketplace is kind of a very crude approach which actually is either useful for small purposes or it's useless so let's explain the actual scenario how a developer uses github actions for all the newbies let's say that there are several developers working in the computer with the several git commits that goes into the github it gets merged it gets built and the build is successful it gets into the test and if the test is successful and then it goes to the release and if the release is successful okay perfect release everything worked fine and this entire workflow where how the code has to be merged when it has to be built how it has to be built or integrated and what exactly has to be tested and how it has to be tested this is explained in the github actions yaml file this yaml file describes the workflow this is nothing new this is already there in the github in the github actions this is how a developer or a devops guy does this in a yaml file they describe the entire workflow of how it has to be done and this is the CI workflow described in the GitHub. Now the actual problem arises when a test fails. It, when a test fails, the stakeholders has to be announced and the real time the stakeholders be the developers or the testers or be it anyone. And usually in this company or in any of the companies, they usually prefer if there is a Slack, there is a Slack channel where the stakeholders of this specific test who they, they would like to know though those stakeholders will be attached to that slack channel and they want this notification to be issued into the slack channel and to solve that purpose usually what happens is like everyone writes kind of a script in this yaml file making this yaml file bigger 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 and it's more hard to maintain and the problem again becomes more is that when across products different developers in the different repos the same kind of script is there in the different kind of languages in different repos and that too in a different format different technology but at the end of the day the result is same just notify the stakeholders in the slack channel to achieve that ultimate goal we will have n number of scripts in n number of different repos in n number of different ways to solve that what i did is that i created a generic notification system and i created a plugin i published it in the marketplace using github actions so you can see it in the github marketplace if you specify ca test result slack you can see sanjay krishna is me so ca test result in slack you can use the latest version here coming back how it exactly works okay it exactly works is like be it in any language the test can generate a junit xml report which is a common report here all the type of test generates that general xml report will be consumed by the github actions and then it will be passed and the notifications will be sent to the slack channel that's what the github actions does this plugin does all you have to do is that incorporate in two lines this github actions plugin this yaml file then you can go ahead and start notifying the respective people okay it's a demo time So I have this repo with a bot which I am using it for the demo. Let's think like this is like one of the product of the company and uh, we want to notify the stakeholders in a channel when the build the test for this weather bot fails. So that's the scenario I'm gonna explain. So I have this weather bot. I have a slack yaml file which where I'm saying that build this test this and exactly the notify slack part comes where i just take my github marketplace code yeah i'm just taking this marketplace code and it's the same i can just paste it here 
So this is the beta file version which I have done right now and it takes the arguments like the title, the test suit name. So when the test is getting notified in the Slack, what type of name you have to give for the test suit and the Slack bot which is in the channel and the Slack channel name where it has to be notified and the JUnit XML file, the JUnit report from where the plugin has to pick up. So yeah, our tests are ready. So what I'm doing is that I will just do a commit add and commit saying that added a change which should build and test when I push. Okay, so git push. Okay, the values are pushed. Okay, now the changes have been pushed to this repository. Let's go to the actions and yeah, the changes has been triggered with the commit message added a change which should build and test when I push. Okay, perfect. So what it does is that it builds and integrates the code. I'll just go behind. And it tests the chatbot for across the OS, Ubuntu, Windows and Mac OS and then my Notify Slackbot plugin gets kicked in. So where exactly it parses the JUnit files created by this each test. Now to keep it simple, I am notifying without any conditions. Even if it is passed, uh, failed or even if it is unstable, I will notify the test anyway. But if you want, we can put the conditions also in the YAML file. It's up to the requirement. Okay, the message has come. Yes, so I'll just wait for the three. Okay, all the three messages have come. So if you see the Ubuntu OS is working perfectly with the chatbot changes which I have made and the Windows, it has got a failure, 400 has passed where six is failed and Mac OS, it's a complete failure. It's not supported this chatbot. So the entire 406 has been failed. So. That's it. It's kind of a very minimal with the color indications with three colors to just to say whether it is total pass or few tests are unstable or that it's a total failure. And also the custom name which we have given and also the duration of the test, how long the test took to execute and also the status again with the color indications and each total number of tests and how many it got passed, failed and whether any tests have been skipped. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for the patience to go through this demo.